Hey everybody, Sammy here at SFI Sports Cards back with another video. Today is December 12th, and today we are going to do a VR. But first, you know, I usually don't do videos where I'm in front of the camera, and it has nothing to do with me being on camera. It's just that the um, setup is a little different. Um, Got to get the lighting right, and I can't really see myself um, on camera while I'm shooting the video. And, you know, I don't want to show cards and have them being in reverse. So, the setup does take a little bit more time. So, I usually don't go that route. But today, in our text group, for some reason... We went on this tangent about doing videos sleeveless. You know, showing off our guns. So I figured, why not? You know, I just got done with a workout not too long ago. So I said, the hell with it. Let's, uh, let's go for it. So people like, you know, Theo, Adam, um, I'm throwing down the challenge. Let's see what you guys, or anybody else in the community that wants to, let's see what you guys are packing. So, that's my challenge for the sleeveless video. But, most importantly, the VR. Today we're doing a VR for our friend, Peter B. Who has a tremendous channel. Um, one of the better YouTube series, in my opinion, in this community, the uh, Tobacco Tuesday. I didn't see a video come out yet for it today, but, uh, I'm sure it's coming. But, um, I love his channel because, you know, especially the Tobacco Tuesdays, because I get to learn about... Players I've never heard of, you know, from back in that era. I have some knowledge of uh, players from back then, so it's very refreshing to check out and see players I've never heard of. So, check out Peter's channel. It will be in the description box. But his VR today, um, cards from the year you were born. I was born in 1977, and this works out perfect because I have been buying cards from 1977, even before I heard about this VR. I've been picking up some new ones, so this is a great opportunity to have some in here, mixed in here, they're not all new cards. You know, a lot of them I had for a while, so... We're going to get to it and uh, show some cards from 1977. First, what I did was I pulled out a stack from uh, an old box I had. You know, these cards are kind of beaters, beat up a little bit, but um, nothing wrong with that. I'm not going to go through all these, but I'll just show some uh, more of the popular ones, popular names. Here's one, Stolen Base Leaders, Bill North, Davy Lopes. Who else do we have in here? Oh, here's a guy that I'm sure Peter is not exactly a fan of. Got a couple uh, Bucky Dents here. Who else can we run into? Gary Nolan, he was uh, pretty good for a little while. Um, for some reason... Some of the pitchers on the Reds from those years, they didn't last long past like their 30th birthday. Gary Nolan was one of them, but he was pretty good. Oh, we have a Padres team card. And we have John McNamara on here, um, who was the manager. He went on to manage the Red Sox. So there's a little link to Peter. As he is a Red Sox fan. What else we got? Okay, this guy. 
not really a notable name, but he is from the same town as I am, Eric Soderholm. We actually graduated from the same high school, different years obviously, this is 77, that's when I was born. Um, he was actually the first pick in the 68 draft, um, the draft in January, not the draft in June. So I'm not sure, he sure there is a difference, but I'm not too uh, up to date on what the difference is. Here's one that he might appreciate. Here's a Jerry Remy from his Angels days. He would go on to the Red Sox, um, make more of a name of himself, I think. Of course, he was a broadcaster for the Red Sox, too. Here's another guy, one of the most jacked guys. You know, we're on the uh, subject of sleeveless. One of the more jacked guys of the 1980s, Brian Downing. Who had a long career. What else? Do we have anybody else in here? Oh, here's one. Dick Drago, Avon Drago's uncle, I'm sure. He's decent. Played for the Royals and the Red Sox. What else do we got in here? We have a Jack Billingham. I think I have his autograph somewhere. We have an all star Bob Gritch. Who I showed uh, a card of his, I think it's 1980, not too long ago. And uh, not too many more in here. Oh, we have a Cy Young Award winner, Randy Jones. And that great afro of his. So he was good. But that kind of rounds out this stack. But let's get to some better cards. Um, just randomly picking out some here. I showed this card not too long ago, Bill Freehan, who many consider should be in the Hall of Fame. Probably the best all-around catcher during his time, you know, during the 60s and 70s. Um, here's a, here's kind of like a beat-up card, but he is a Hall of Famer, Goose Gossage. But, you know, as I collect these 1977 cards, they're not you got to do some digging, but they're not too difficult to find. Well, actually, they are difficult. Let me reword this. Um, you got to take time, do your due diligence, but you can find some good-looking 77 cards and, you know, in good shape. Here's one. Here's a uh, multiplayer card. 1977. This is Runs Batted In Leaders. George Foster and Lee May. Did you know Lee May was top five in runs batted in during the 70s? A lot of people don't know that. So that's a cool multiplayer card. Here's one. Shown this before. Johnny Bench cloth sticker. That's a neat one right there. Um, here we go. Like I said, these cards are in good shape. Uh, Lou Brock. I love that helmet. I've looked for it to see if I can get one. But they didn't use them that often. I think it might be. I don't know. I don't know if it's a spring training, part of a spring training uniform, but um, I can't find one. So, if anyone knows, you know, a link to where I can get one of these epic helmets, let me know in the comments. Here's one. Here's one of my favorites from this set. That's a Gaylord Perry. I love the color combo used on this. Just goes very well with that uh, powder blue Rangers uniform. So love that one. How about a second year? Dennis Eckersley. Another great one. 
He's got that flow going. It's got the trash bag sleeves. That's a good one. Here's one. One of the uh, best pitchers of his generation, of his era. We got uh, Jim Palmer cakes, because he loved his pancakes. That's a good one. Bought that ungraded, got it graded, came out in a terrific seven. What else we got? Here's a player I like to collect. We got Joe Torre, that's came with the Mets. Also, we got this one I just got not too long ago, last week. All-star of Greg Lezinski. Now, Mike Schmidt, obviously all-time Philly. You know, I guess, you know, a lot of the big names throughout history had, you know, that a right-hand man to go along with them. You know, Aaron had Ed Matthews. I guess you could say Willie Mays had Willie McCovey. You no, know, Garrett, Ruth. But Schmidt, he didn't really have uh, that guy um, to protect him in the lineup throughout his career. I think the probably the guy that would be that player to him, probably Greg Lezinski. So, he was a monster. A um, couple more. I just got this one, too. Jose Cruz. Great player for the Astros for a long time. And... Let's finish it with this guy, Nolan Ryan. You guys know that guy? Another car that I bought ungraded, sent it in, and I got a terrific seven. So I think that's it for the tops, but I do have this one to end the video. This is 1977 Bob Parker art card. This is of Noodles Han. Now, since Peter B. does the Tobacco Tuesdays, I'm wondering if he's familiar with him. Um, had a short career, but was dominant um, during the early 1900s. I believe he led the league in strikeouts his first three years that he played. I am not sure if that's been matched since then but uh, he had a short career because he just threw and threw and threw until he couldn't throw anymore so he was he didn't take anything back as far as you know I should have saved my arm you know great left-handed pitcher during that era one of the best actually so check out Noodles Han, if you're not familiar with them. But that's it of the 77 cards that I'm going to show today. I am still picking some up. But um, yes, check out Peter's channel. And like I said, you will find the, the link to his channel in the description box. But that's it for today. Um, lots of VRs going on right now, so I will be back probably for more I'll mix them in with uh, some other videos I got uh, with new pickups so that's it everybody uh, thanks for checking it out check out Peter's channel and um, we'll talk to you later take care everybody